Skyler. Depending on your perspective, autofill can be either great or a bane to your existence. Boon or bane. So let me show you where to uh, gain access to the settings of autofill in Safari. So press your home button and slide to unlock. Tap settings and scroll down until you see Safari. Tap Safari and tap autofill. If you want, you can set it up to use your contact info, so it will read your V card that's stored in contacts. Whenever you start to type in your address or something like that, it'll say, hey, do you want to use your stored information? And you can say yes or no. Um, you can also choose which card specifically you want to use. Um, so if you wanted to work with multiple identities, it's not actually all that hard to switch between them. Um, also, a detail is in names and passwords. So if there are websites that you visit frequently which require you to log in, you can have Safari remember those if you want. So you would just switch it on, and the next time you go to a website where a password is required, Safari would remember the username, remember the password, and make it easier for you to log on the next time. So you can also clear all of those passwords out periodically if you want. If you have that feature turned on, I really do highly recommend going to General and Passcode Lock and enabling a passcode. Just a simple four-digit passcode will keep that relatively safe. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.